Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I thought I'd take a few minutes to talk about some fine art papers and printing. There's a couple of papers I like to use. Um, one's a matte and one's a uh, kind of a semi-gloss. It depends on the image as to which paper I, I usually go with, but the uh, matte paper, the Canson paper, rag photographique, um, both of these are 100% cotton. But um, this is really good paper. I think they're both excellent papers. And Hannah Mula, uh, is uh, mostly probably what I print most of my images on and it's also cotton paper but uh, I like the cotton papers there's no brighteners in here but uh, one thing I did notice uh, in printing early on with these papers is how they tend to shift the the white uh, will shift over time and especially if, if you kind of look at the white border here I really like printing with the borders and if you look at these, these white borders will fade over time, whether you're using the Canson or whether you're using the Hanamula. And so what I was looking for, because uh, I like to print my images and put them on the board, and I typically leave them up for a while until I've had a chance to kind of observe the image and try to figure out, you know, is that the best print that I can get out of that? Do I want to alter that anymore? So. Uh, but if you leave your images up for any length of time, you're going to notice that that color, that white, the paper, tends to shift colors over time. So looking at different ways I could kind of reduce that, I think the best way is to, you know, get your air, or excuse me, get your photograph off of the, off of a backboard like this and, you know, into some type of binder. You know, I, I really like putting images in here and they, they really hold up well. The papers don't seem to... Uh, fade, get darker, and I, I think this really you know works well. So sealing your image up is probably the best thing to do. But I, I tend to use a combination of things. And, and what I really wanted to talk about was this protective spray. Now this Hannah Mula spray is uh, there, there's different ones out there, and this is just kind of one that I chose, and I've been using it for over a year now. And I, I really I come up. I'm going to stick with this. I think it does a really good job. So what I'll show you though is uh, a couple of images that I've printed now, and and I'm going to compare those to two images that I printed a year ago, and I have those up on the uh, board there. So we'll take a closer look at those, and I'm going to kind of show you how the the paper color has shifted over this uh, it was a little over a year now so get these down all right so kind of leave these out you can see these are the Canson uh, this is the matte paper and this is the semi gloss and so I've got the Canson and I got the uh, Hannah Mula on the right you can clearly see that the white has shifted over time. Now, when, when you have these up and you're looking at them, you really can't tell because the shift is gradual, but when you do a direct comparison like this, you can really see the difference. So, you know, using the spray to uh, try to help minimize this, I would say that it's effective. However, these have been sprayed and they were sprayed a year ago. So there's still a shift. Now these have been sitting in direct sunlight, they've been sitting in the ambient light in the room for a year, they've been hanging up on this board. So, although there is a shift, um, I would say that it's, it's a relatively, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good shift of, co of color between the whites, but I would say definitely that it's not as bad as it was uh, if you don't spray them. But I think the key is, you know, you got to put your images up. You've got to put these in some type of protective binder or some kind of, um, uh, I don't know, album or, of some type so that you don't, uh, you don't just leave them out exposed to the light and exposed to the atmosphere. So, new, printed a year ago and sprayed, printed a year ago and not sprayed. So there is a color shift. 
no matter what. There's a color shift, but it's not really it's not really that bad. I mean, if, if you want to spray your images and leave them out, I think it's okay. But uh, I think the best thing to do is just put them away, and you don't have to worry about it. So the real question is: Is the Hanamula spray worth it? And I think, yeah, hands down, yeah, it's worth it. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. All right, well, so what's the takeaway? I think the takeaway is this. It depends on what you're doing with your images. I think if you're gonna, if you're gonna put your images in some type of protective binder like this, um, you know, they're, they're gonna hold up quite well. And, and the, I, I've not noticed any of these colors really shifting in any of these binders that I put in, or for that matter, any of the framed art that I've posted up. I, I haven't seen any color shift in that either. So I think the takeaway for me is, yeah, the spray is definitely effective. Uh, it makes a big difference, and I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, but with that, I'm also going to continue to, you know, when I print an image, I'm, these are just really for, for view, these, these images I have on the board, just to uh, analyze the print. I think, you know, when you're printing for frames or you're printing for uh, some type of display, I think if you're going to do that, I, I think you're fine, but I, I would still recommend the spray in any case. I think that wraps it up. I mean, for me, you know, when I analyze these prints uh, and I look at these over a year ago compared to today, um, there's certainly, certainly a, a shift in the white, and I think that definitely tells me that the, um, the these need to be sprayed because really, when you look at the ones that that haven't been sprayed and were printed a year ago, I think um, there, there's a big difference. Certainly, a big difference. So. If you look at these two alone, you can definitely see that this is certainly whiter than this one. Printed at the same time, and one sprayed and one not. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, maybe this can help uh, answer your questions on whether you use these sprays or not. So uh, I hope I was able to do that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. But uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing. You can also hit that little bell icon to be notified of any future videos that I post. And uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail.